This is Archie Giant series, Betty and Veronica Spectacular. It's number 246, and it sold for 30 cents. And Archie says, it's time for the local news. And Veronica says, we've already heard it over the telephone, Archie. And back cover has amazing $1 offer, 10 super great iron-on transfers. And this is from June 1976. And the first story is Betty and Veronica in Framed. Oh, oh golly, Veronica. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That's awful. You must feel terrible. And you're so young too. Too young to start falling apart, that's for sure. Knock it off, Betty Cooper. Just knock it off. Now, what brings on all the panic? At what makes you think I'm falling apart? Those. You have to wear glasses. I do not have to wear glasses. Is that some sort of tribal decoration on your face? They are not glasses. Then what are they? Frames, dum dum frames. They are. They're just frames, no lenses. That's what I said. You want people to believe you have bad eyes? Bad eyes? I am known for my great eyes. I've been told they're like limpid pools of molten amber. Son of a gun, is that what molten amber looks like? But clue me in, why are you wearing frames? Because it's fashionable. Glasses are in, very stylish these days. I don't need the glass, but I've got to get with the look. I bought at least a dozen pairs of very chi-chi frames. Observe. The intellectual look. The demure old-fashioned girl. Diamond studded for a night on the town. The mystery woman. Who is she? Some famous actress? Wide-eyed innocence. That'll be the day. The whole thing is so silly. Glasses were invented to serve a purpose. They're supposed to improve your vision, not to be worn to merely decorate the face. Oh, Pooh, you're such an old stick. Besides, these do serve a purpose, a very important one. Like what? Like a decoy on a duck pond. Huh? Makes the hunting better. Ta-da, old dearie, I'm off to bag me a trophy or two. Tisk. Sigh, I'll bet one of her trophies was red, has red hair and freckles. Veronica, nice-looking glasses, but I didn't know you needed them. I don't, Dilton. Nothing to be ashamed of. I've been wearing them for years. I'll give you some advice, though. Spray cleaner. Pocket size. Those things are no good if they're dirty and no dilt and I spritz. Arg! For Pete's sake, what a stupid thing to do. Why didn't you say the frames were empty? <laughs> Veronica, with eye trouble? Maybe she needs glasses. I don't think so. That's what caused the eye trouble. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, advertisement, Josie, in special date. Why? Why can't a girl ask a boy for a date, especially if she truly likes him and if it's for something special? Why? Why can't a girl invite a boy out if she likes him, especially a girl like me, one of the fabulous Cabots? How could he possibly refuse? Oh, Alan, Dad's throwing a special rich people's formal shindig for me Saturday night. I want you to be my escort, and that automatically makes you the guest of honor, you charming boy. Er, gosh, yeah. The hostess fruit pies, this is apple and cherry. Yeah, sorry, Alexander, but I just remember, and I'd be busy Saturday night with something really special. How dare you refuse me, Alexandra Cabot? Both apple and cherry? Saturday night. Josie, you're special. As special as these hostess fruit pies? As special as that light tender crust and real fruit filling? Mm, almost. You get a big delight in every bite of Hostess Fruit Pies. Betty and Veronica in uptight plight. My father is always telling me what to do. Have a good time, Veronica. There he goes, telling me what to do. Little Jinx in Joggin the Noggin. Boy, fat Charlie, you're getting fatter. You should try jogging. Thanks for the suggestion, Little Jinx. Hmm. He jogged all the way to the hammock. And here's an advertisement. If you've ever said there must be a better way to earn a living, one of our free career booklets may provide the opportunity you've been looking for. International Correspondence Schools. And the next story is Betty and Veronica in the Hating Game. Yes, Miss Grundy, Betty and, 
Betty and I are dead, set against snakes, spiders, roaches, rats, lizard boys, and other assorted insects. That's true. What she said, I concur completely, even if all those things aren't insects. Boys? Didn't I mention them? You mentioned. Good. I wouldn't want to leave them off the list. As a matter of fact, I think we should move them up on the list. If you want my opinion, boys should head the insect list. Good thinking. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Why have you two suddenly developed such a low opinion of boys? Since we grew tired of being treated like second-class citizens, every thinking female should stand ready to squash the insects like the vile little bugs they are. I am very disturbed by your attitude, girls, very disturbed. You sound like extremists. Extremists are fanatics, and they're never right. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll just hate and despise them moderately. I like all out contempt to myself. Please, girls, don't you know you can destroy yourself with hatred? Sigh, Miss Grundy's right, you know. We're letting ourselves become as rotten as them. Ugh, all right. We'll temper our hatred with understanding. You good. They were hating us with a passion because you were acting like superior males. You've got to improve your attitude toward girls. Remember, that they are your equals. Well, gee golly, of course they are. I talked to them. I calmed them down quite a bit. I acted as a peacemaker. Gee, thanks, Miss Grundy. I think they're willing to give you another chance if you behave yourselves. Oh, we will. We will. We'll find those two and put things right. We can't have them hating us. Betty, Veronica, wait for us. We want to apologize for making you angry with us. and We promise we'll never do it again. Okay, you're forgiven. You, what a relief. You're really good sports for girls. Eep, what I say? Wap. I think it was a no-no. Miss Grundy, Betty and Veronica look absolutely furious. Do you know why? It's that whole equal rights bit. The boys treat them condescendingly. The girls worked up this great hatred for all boys. Tisk tisk. But I gave them a good talking to, showed them the error in their ways. Then I talked to the boys and made them promise to stop acting as though they were better than the girls. Fine, fine. You have great insight into the human heart and mind, Miss Grundy. You handled that extremely well for a woman. Yes, Miss Beasley, Miss Hagley. I am dead set against snakes, spiders, roaches, rats, and lizards, men, and other assorted insects. Here's an advertisement for Magnificent Reproduction for Collectors of Miniature Early American Wood Furniture. And the next story is Veronica and Campaign Caper. Bam, bam. Gasp. You can't fight fate. Betty's the one you must date. Betty, what is that sign all about? It's an advertising campaign I've started. I've tried every other way to interest Archie. Thought I might as well try advertising. You must be kidding. Nope. It'll never work. We'll see. Betty's a nut. A first class nut. Imagine she has to advertise for a date. What a laugh. Don't be a fool. Date Betty after school. Pop, what's that sign doing here? Betty asked me if she could put it up, Veronica. I refuse to eat in a store that displays a sign like that. Would you like an order to go? Slam. Yuck, yuck. Lady, hey lady, take a flyer. Betty Cooper is a girl that's super. Grrr. Archie, yes, love. Have you seen any of Betty's crazy advertising signs? Of course, Veronica, they're everywhere. And I think they're very cute. Don't worry, sugar, you're the only girl for me. I hope so for your sake, Archie. See you later. It's as simple as ABC, Betty is the one for me. I'll teach that blonde bomb to mess with Veronica. Hello, Philip Seinpater? Why mess with second best? Date Veronica, not any blonde pest. Don't ask. And here are some other advertisements. And here's Dear Betty and Veronica. And there's an order form for Laugh Comics Digest number five for 60 cents. 
and uh, pick a winner every time. Just send 25 cents for each title check below. Your Archie series comics will be sent right from the press to your home. Here's an advertisement for life-size hero pinups with movable arms and legs. There's Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, and Planet of the Apes. Each are $4.50. The next story is Betty and Veronica in Dress Down Date. For heaven's sake, Betty, calm down. It's only a date with Archie. You're not being crowned Queen of England. Only a date with Archie? How can you say only when talking about anything so totally glorious? A date with Archie may mean nothing to you, but with me, it's something else. Who knows? Maybe he cares a little more than he lets on. Would you heed some words of advice from an expert? Of course, you do a lot more Archie dating than I do. Don't overdress. That's a lesson I learned a long time ago. Huh? But I got a new dress just for this date. No, no, all wrong. You'll ruin it. Look, I used to float down the stairs in a wild new outfit, right? Some priceless creation from Paris or Rome. He didn't like it? What's he know? He always says I look great. Dungarees, paint stains, smock, it's always the same. Gee, you look great, love bug. Oh, wow. We get in the car. He insists I sit up, smack against him like so, real tight. Golly, by the time we get where we're going, the side of my dress is doing a good imitation of a prune. Yeah? And that's not bad enough. He never misses a chance all evening. A chance for what? Put his arm around my waist and tight, you know, tight. I know, I know. If we get alone for a minute, it's both arms. Eep, I can't stand it. My gown ends up looking like an accordion. It's got pleats and wrinkles. More, tell me more. Don't get your hair set. Golly, is that ever a waste of time? Loves to run his fingers through my hair. Ruins any set I might have. And then there's the crazy class ring. What about his ring? Gets caught. Pulls out my hair at a great rate. Honestly, I won't even mention what he does to lipstick and makeup. Good grief. Like I said, take it from one who knows. Don't waste time dolling up for him. After a date with Archie, I always look like something a cat dragged in. E. So who cares? It's only a dress. All set, Betty? Ready, willing, and able, darling. Pretty exciting movie, eh? Or yes, exciting. Have fun tonight, Betty? I did not. Look at the shape you brought me home in. But, but you look just like you did when I picked you up. Exactly. You ought to be horse whipped. Slam. Here's advertisement for Ghost It Crazy Free 100 decals. Six free patches. Here's an advertisement for lifetime income, bringing old furniture back to life. Thanks for watching.